Welcome back, Tiger Sports fans, for another episode of Tiger Sports Nation. I'm your host, Katie Moore. And I'm Tessa Coker, and we're going to get you caught up on Tiger Sports from this past week. The baseball team traveled to Manchester this past weekend and went 3-0. In the series opener, the Tigers beat the Spartans 13-3. Aiden Howard and Max Bond led the team in runs. They each collected three. Michael Vallone and Ben Axelrod split time on the mound. Vallone had nine strikeouts and Axelrod had two. In the second game, DePaul had another astounding 14-2 victory. The winning score came from a full team effort as there was a five-way tie for most runs scored. Each of these Tigers scored two runs. Pierce Rando and Griffin Albright each took the mound in this game. They collected nine and one strikeouts, respectively. In the final game of the series, you guessed it, the Tigers had another impressive 14-4 win. Drew Straub led the team in runs this game with three, and Nate Tenza and Charlie Hawk pitched in the last game. Hawk had four strikeouts. And up next, the Tigers will take the field tonight at Rose Holman. The first pitch is scheduled for 6.30 p.m. DePaul softball played in the Millican softball tournament over the weekend and went 3-1. Their only loss was in their first game against Grinnell. The Tigers fell 11-9. DePaul played Wisconsin Stevens Point next and won 7-2. Ella Orval and Emily Timberman led the team in runs, each scoring two. Alex Romero Salas was the only pitcher of the game for the Tigers. She had seven strikeouts. The Tigers beat Wisconsin Stevens Point again in their third game. The final score was 6-4. Leading in runs for DePaul was Libby Minobi and Macy Cox, who each collected two. Peyton Rohr took the mound first and had one strikeout. Josie Hare took the mound last and had three strikeouts. In the Tigers' final game of the tournament, they beat Milliken 5-4. Kelsey Bruno pitched for DePaul and had three strikeouts. DePaul is back on the road this weekend to play in the 2024 Pioneer Classic. Their first game is on Saturday at 10 a.m. The men's lacrosse team played twice last week. On Wednesday, they first beat Anderson at home 18-4. Beckett Tasker led the Tigers with six goals. Anthony Reinhardt led DePaul in goal with three saves. And on Saturday, the Tigers had an 8-3 home victory over Trine. Gavin Berry led DePaul with three goals, and the goalie that led the Tigers with 16 saves was none other than Anthony Reinhardt. DePaul will be back in action on Saturday at Illinois Tech with a game time set for 1 p.m. The women's lacrosse team is currently on a three-game win streak. Last Wednesday, the Tigers traveled to Illinois Wesleyan and won 21-5. Grayson Campbell led DePaul with five goals. Lydia Hollis was the lone goalie and collected three saves. The Tigers were on the road again on Saturday as they played at Transylvania. Contributing to the final score of 20-9, Campbell led again with seven goals. Hollis was again the only goalie in play for DePaul and had nine saves. The Tigers look to extend their win streak on Saturday when they play at Otterbein. They will begin play at 4 p.m. The women's tennis team played Huntington on Saturday and won 6-3. The winning doubles teams for DePaul were Cassie Green and Valerie Doherty and Katie King and Alex Preston. In singles play, Green, King, Ellen Gardner, Kat Wilder, and Bella DiNardo all collected wins. And on Tuesday, the Tigers extended to a four-game win streak. They beat Rose Holman 8-1. All three doubles teams won, and the five singles winners from Saturday were victorious yet again. Up next, the Tigers are traveling to Orlando, Florida on Sunday and will play Kalamazoo at 1 p.m. The men's golf team played in the Alabama Invasion over the weekend. Manuel Loring led the Tigers with his first place finish to a two-round score of 634. Loring shot a 149. The Tigers return to action April 5th through 6th at the Illinois Wesleyan Spring Invitational. And that's it for Tiger Sports this week. Now, it's time for a hot topic where we talk about something from the Tiger sports world or the greater sports world that we just can't stop thinking about. Tessa? I'm thinking about how Iowa women's basketball won the Big Ten Tournament Championships for the third time in a row, um, of course, led by Caitlin Clark, which was always so exciting to hear about her, um, just getting more and more excited for March Madness. I agree. Um, I'm going to pivot from basketball to football. Um, something I can't stop thinking about, the Dallas Cowboys uh, running back, or ex-running back now, Tony Pollard went to the Titans and ended Derrick Henry's reign there. He went to the Ravens. Um, this raised a lot of questions around for the Cowboys. Um, he was our, the Cowboys' main running back, 
and now that puts a lot of the pressure on Deuce Vaughn to step up. He was a rookie last season. This is his second season, and I think the Cowboys had to pay Micah Parson and Dak Prescott, so Tony Pollard had to go. But I think that'll do it for this episode of Tiger Sports Nation. Once again, I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Tessa Coker. and as always, Roll, roll Tigs! tigs.